While I was praying, I have had many prophecies about 2023, how many bad, bad things will happen. So I wanted to ask the Lord. And the Lord told me something. Focus on the word of the Lord for the year, not the storm of the year. There must be a storm in the year. But remember, when he told Peter, come. When Peter started focusing on the storm, what happened? He started sinking. It is the word of the Lord for the year that will keep you above the storm of the year. There must be storm. But let your focus be upon the word of the Lord for the year. And so the Lord began to tell me that the year 2023 shall be the year of his fullness. The reason why is the year of his fullness is simply because the focus is to make men become like him. If they can differentiate you from Christ, it's simply because you have not carried his fullness. The greatest manifestation of Jesus Christ is his ability to trap God in his totality, in his fullness. So when they saw Jesus Christ for the first time, the whole of God can tabernacle in a man. And that's why when you read Colossians chapter 1, verse 19, it pleased the Father that in him should all the fullness dwell. That means the totality of God was dwelling in a man for the first time. So for the first time, a man can trap the totality of God. And now when you read John chapter 1 verse 16, it says, And of his what? Fullness have how, how many of us receive? 